Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Marissa. Uh, in today's video, I am going to be doing some freezer meals. I have my list right here of things that I'm wanting to um, get put up in the freezer. And I'll put a list of on the screen here for you. But um, I have lots to do. A few months ago, our freezer, our, um, I got our stand-up freezer. Um, the power had gone off several times that day and um, it had clicked it on and off and because of that it just kind of died and then we lost all the food that we had in the freezer so now I am wanting to stock up again and I love having freezer meals on hand you guys know if you watched my videos you know that I like to can and so the convenience of having canned food freezer meals on hand on days that I don't feel like cooking which is almost every day now um I like having that option instead of just ordering out because believe me we've been ordering out quite a bit and yeah that that adds up so today I'm gonna work on some things that um, I can put back in the freezer and right now I'm going to get started on <laughs> that looks Oof. Right now, I'm going to get started on spaghetti sauce. These are the ingredients that I need for my homemade spaghetti sauce. <clears throat> I need think, three traditional Hunt's pizza sauce, three cans of crushed tomatoes. I am using three pounds of um, beef, ground beef. Any kind you want is fine. I'm using the organic grass-fed ground beef. It is the 93.7 um, lean fat. And then I'm going to put in onions, diced onions, diced green peppers, and a couple of my homemade tomato, tomato paste pucks that I have here. I'm going to season my meat with all of this. The, uh, no, Italian herbs, onion powder, garlic powder, basil, um, Worcestershire sauce. The bay leaf is for once I get it made. I'm going to put a few bay leaves in there. And then this is the seasoning that they always like, the thick and the zesty, so I'm using that. And then a couple of jars of my homemade canned Rotel. And so we're gonna get all of this going and let it simmer for a little while on the stove. Oh, also I've got my big cauldron pot, pot that my family calls it. So yeah, let's get this taken care of and get it started. The first time I made this spaghetti sauce, I told you I did it for my husband when we were dating. <clears throat> the reason I was making this for him is because he had made a comment about how his dad makes the best um, spaghetti sauce. And by the way, he does. And so I wanted to try to mimic that. And I came close, kind of, sort of. And um, so over the years, I just tried to perfect it and make it better. And this is what I came up with. But it's still not like Poppy's. Poppy just makes good spaghetti sauce. With the beef, I am going to add in the uh, peppers and onions. The onion and peppers that I'm putting in here, I, I got from a farm market near our house. And spent an afternoon chopping it up and getting it in our freezer because I am always, especially the onion, always, always, always needing chopped onion and green peppers. Letting this cook down for about five minutes. And so now I'm going to add the rest of my ingredients. I'm going to add my spaghetti sauce.
All right, I'm going to have, leave this on low and I'm just gonna let it simmer for about at least an hour, um, probably not longer than that. All right, so now I'm moving on. I'm just following, I'm just gonna go down my list and we're gonna move on to meatloaf. Yeah, I've got my oats, that's what my mama uses. You can use breadcrumbs, whatever, but this is what she used. Two pounds of ground pork, two pounds of more of my grass-fed ground beef. Um, I've got two cans of hunts, and yes, I can't see. Let's see, I need salt, pepper, and eggs. This is how I'm going to get my stick. Okay. So I'm just going to put this stuff in here and make my... So that is all formed and ready to go. So I'm just going to fold this in. Okay, this is press and seal. I like this for things like this. I like using it instead of the saran wrap. And as carefully as you can, <laughs> try to lift it up out, keeping the shape so that when I want to fix this, it's still in the shape and I can just get the papers and stuff off of it. Now, let's stick it back in here. Get a gallon size bag. I don't hear meatloaf. And today's date, nine. And then I'm going to get this in here. of the air out as you can. All right, and there is one meatloaf. We're ready to go. And we're gonna repeat.
And since I have enough left over, I'm going to keep it in here and this is going to be dinner tonight. All right, y'all. My husband would be so proud. I'm cleaning up as I go. <laughs> All right. I've got two things down on my list. And before moving on to the third thing, I'm going to stop and take me a little lunch break while my spaghetti is still simmering. So I'm going to use a packet of brown gravy mix, can of creamy chicken soup, some mixed, minced, not mixed, minced onion, Get a little amount, maybe a tablespoon or so. Um, some Worcestershire, more of this stuff I can't say. And salt and pepper. And we're just going to mix this up and then we're going to put it all in a um, bag. It'll thin out once you cook your meat. Any fat that's in the meat will render out and then you'll have the perfect consistency. You can steak this in here, get all the air out. And there you have it. Easy peasy. All right, and that is one freezer room. Okay, now I'm moving on to some chicken that I have. And when I do um, days like this where I'm doing um, any kind of meal prep or freezer meals like I'm doing today, I typically go through my um, cabinets to see what I have on hand that I can use or something that needs to be gotten rid of. And I've had these two in my pantry for a little while, so I'm going to use this today. I'm going to get two meals for sure, but I may end up getting three. We'll see. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to do this mojito lime. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm going to use this and just follow the directions on the back. And then I'm going to use this one pan chicken parmesan. This is a meal, and um, I'm not going to put any vegetables in with it. That'll just, um, the day that I take this out and put it on a sheet pan, I'll just decide what vegetables I'm in the mood for that day and stick it on the pan with it, season them however. But I may can get two out of this. Depends on how much chicken I have. But yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. So the first thing I want to do with these um, chicken dinners is go ahead and write on the bag because everything's just going to go in a bag. I'm not going to dirty up a bowl or anything. So that's it. All you got to do is, I'm not going to salt and pepper it because I'll do that when I go to cook it. You want to try to get out as much of the air as possible. Do your best to get out as, all of it if you can. I like to roll it up like this and as long as your juices aren't coming up to the top to seep out, you're good. And just mix that up. And there we have another grab and go freezer now. This is probably something, this mojito lime is probably something I'll fix and we'll have it on a salad or um, I don't know, maybe a sandwich. I doubt it, but salad for sure. All right, so that is ready. And then this one, we're just going to kind of follow the same guidelines, except we're not going to add um, any vinegar. Let 
a lot of stuff in that corner there. I want to get some chicken down there. Okay. And there we have it. We've got another chicken meal ready to go. These I will freeze like this. Saves room. So let me get these two in the refrigerator. All right, I am back to my spaghetti sauce. It has been simmering for a little over an hour. It smells really good. <clears throat> and so I've got nine quarts. These are plastic 32 ounce freezer containers. Um, they're quart size. I've got nine of them out. I'm not sure if I'll get nine out of this, but that's my goal. So let's go ahead and get this started. Just gonna put it in here. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space at the top because as it freezes, it will expand. So you wanna leave maybe an inch at the top. Try not to have anything crawling down the side of it. So, all right, I'm gonna get the rest of these going. don't think I'm going to get nine, but I am getting a good little bit, a little amount out of this. So. Okay, just like if you were canning, get the um, rims cleaned off, wiped off, um, the sides as well. You don't have anything hindering, um, keeping a nice tight seal on the lid. And just remember, these will expand in the freezer, so you want to give it a little wiggle room for that. <clears throat> I'm just taking a wet paper towel and going around it. All right, let's get the lids on. Where did I feel that right there? All right, so yay, I've got eight quarts of spaghetti sauce, pasta sauce, whatever you want to say, ready for the freezer. I am gonna let these cool a little bit more before I take them down there so yay i'm so excited as we have come to the end of the day for these freezer meals and i'm tired but i'm so excited because i have 13 meals here ready to go whenever i want to just get something quick on the table i have eight quarts of spaghetti sauce that I can use as spaghetti. I can use it in some kind of a baked pasta. I can use it in lasagna. If I run out of pizza sauce downstairs that I already have canned, I can use this. So very good there. Eight different meals here. I have two meals, two chicken meals. I have the sheet pan and then I have the mojito chicken that I can grill, put it in a salad or grill and it can just be the entree itself for dinner. Lots of good things I can do here. I have the crock pot cube steak and gravy that I, I'll buy a thing of um, Bob Evans mashed potatoes and then the meal is done. And then I have two meatloafs ready to go. And so I've worked all afternoon in the kitchen, but it has been very productive and I'm excited to have these 13 meals somewhere on my shelf ready to go. That's the whole point of the, of the um, freezer cooking that I do. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more things like this, I have more freezer meals that I'm gonna be doing. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Please hit the bell notification so that you'll know when I upload. You will see things like cleaning, um, what's for dinner, freezer meals. I have canning things, projects that I still need to do. And so just kind of all the things that, I, that are coming up on my channel. So if you haven't subscribed and those are things that you like to watch, please, please, please subscribe, share, 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 and hit the thumbs up button anytime you can because that will help my channel grow. That'll help YouTube push out my videos. And so 
But yeah, we, I've had a good time in the kitchen today with you guys. And so until next time, I will see you later. Bye.